Dragon's Dogma 2 is an open world RPG with classes called vocations, and each of these vocations can have really powerful ultimate abilities that you have to go out into the world and find. And today I want to go over the three ultimate abilities for Mage and Sorcerer. There's a giant tornado, there's a spell that lets you rain down meteors, and then a spell that gives all your party stamina regeneration. To get all these spells you have to hand in five powerful grimoires, and there's two different people that want these grimoires, and each give different spells. But in this video we're going to break down the steps of where to start these two quests, where the five grimoires are, and how to duplicate them so we can hand them into both people and get all of the rewards. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Step one, go and start Mirrodin's quest. So if you go to Vernworth and take the, the Western Ox Cart, you'll get to Checkpoint Rest Town. You go here as part of the story, or you can just take the Western Ox Cart here. And once you're in Checkpoint Rest Town, you go east and up this little hill to Mirrodin's home. And now he won't talk to you unless you're wearing the fancy attire and you get that as part of the story. So make sure when you go to his house, you're wearing the fancy attire or he'll just turn you away at the door. So if you're wearing the fancy attire, go to him and he'll invite you into his house and he'll give you his quest where he tells you he's looking for five special grimoires. So that's his quest started. Now you want to start the second half of this, which is Trisha, Trisha, Trisha's quest, which is directly north of Melv in a place called Aini's home. So here's, here's Melv. And you just want to take this windy path up to this, this place here, Aini's home. Now, this person won't talk to you about this if uh, if there's other people in the room because they want to do this in secret. So if there's other people in the room, just pick them up, grab them and take them outside so you can talk to Trisha one on one. OK, now let's go over every single book location. So what are the grimoires? So two of the grimoires are in the same place. So if you go up from Melv past Border Watch Outpost and up to this waterfall at the at this location here, just behind it is a cave. And in here is a Howling Blizzard and Nation's Death Kneel. So those two books are in the same cave. So as you come in the cave, follow this path. So I'll show the whole path here. And as you follow this cave all the way down, you're going to get to the bottom right area, like the little circle in the bottom right. As you get there, you go into the next room and in there is a chest. Once you get into the chest, you want it, you want to pop it open and both of the books are in the chest. It's, it's that easy. When you do open this chest, it will spawn a wraith. So you do have a bit of a fight here. So do come prepared. But yeah, once you get in there and pop the chest, you'll just get those two books as, as easy as that. So that's the first two grimoires done. On to the next ones. Okay, next up, Fulminous Shield. This is bought off a traveling merchant called Dudley. And this guy can be found in either Melv or Checkpoint Rest Town. Now, I'm not sure if he if you rest in one place, he'll arrive there or if it's story based on where he is. So try both and just buy it from him. It's 5000 gold once you find him. But yeah, he's in one of those two places. Okay, next up is the Grimoire of Towering Earth. Now, this is bought from from Wildar. He's the he's the guy you free as part of the main story. So there's a main story quest called Free the Magistrate. Yeah, you find him, you free him out of jail and you bring him to this library. It's a whole quest chain, but you need to do that quest to bring him to the library. And then you come back to the library once you have this grimoire quest and he'll just give you the grimoire. If you don't, you need to go and do that main story as he'll still be in the jail. So you need to go free him and start that whole thing. But yeah, if you're looking for that quest, it's called Free the Magistrate. You should have it already if you've got to the main city. Okay, on to the next one, the uh, Let There Be Light Grimoire. Now, this is located in Mirrodin's house. So don't come here in the fancy attire and talk to him. You want to go right to the right side of his house completely avoid him because if you talk to him he'll start following you around his house he'll start like like following you around make sure you're not up to no good but you are up to no good so go to the right climb this thing here and then jump over to the wall if you're a mage you can just levitate over or you can just make it a good jump now go through these glass doors here and on the right in this room there's a bunch of books on the table and you want the one at the back just this one here at the back let there be light there's your there's your final grimoire done all five grimoires OK, now to get both of the rewards, you need to duplicate them. So you need to have them duplicated. So if you go to Checkpoint Rest Town, which is you can take the Western ox cart from Vernworth, come to Checkpoint Rest Town and then go here to Ibram's Scrap Store. So here he will duplicate an item for you. So, yeah, go up to him and press request a forgery and then pick one of the books and it will cost 6000 gold. And you just have to wait a little while. So go sleep in the inn and then go and pick it up the next day or whenever it's ready. And you will get a duplicate of the book. Now, you're just going to do that five times. So. Do that for each of the books and you'll have a copy of every single book. OK, now it's time to start completing the quest. So first we'll complete Mirrodin's quest. So while you're in Checkpoint Rest Town, go up to Mirrodin's house again and hand in the five copies. So you want to make sure you're handing in the duplicates, not the real books. So go up to him, hand in the books and hand in five of the copies. OK, and that'll, that'll finish his quest and you will unlock a, you'll get like 11,000 gold. You'll get a brand new robe and you will get he, Mirrodin's Chronicle. So talk to him again and you'll get Mirrodin's Chronicle, which will unlock your first ultimate spell, which is uh, the big tornado, the big maelstrom tornado. OK, now we hand the real books in to Trisha to complete Trisha's, Trisha's quest. So, OK, I'm saying all these names wrong, but we're going back to Aini's house, the one that's above Mel, this one here. So 
head back here, go in and hand in the five real books. There will be all the books you got left, so hand them all in and then you'll get rewarded with a ring. And it's the same situation here of if there's other people in the room, just grab them and take them out of the room and then you can talk to them in private, hand them all in, get rewarded and they'll tell you that they want to study the rings. So you need to come back here in a couple of days. So you can either go back to town and, and, and sleep at an inn or you can go up to a campfire, which is just up here and you can rest for a couple of nights. And then we go back and after studying the, the five grimoires for all this time, they've gone mad and they're using all this, this crazy magic. So what we need to do now is, is calm them down so we can progress the quest. You don't, they're, they're targetable here, so you don't want to fight them. You don't want to, you don't want to destroy them. You just want to capture them. So what you want to do is just kind of prolong the fight. Just keep it going. Let them burn out of all their magic and they'll get tired and they'll stop teleporting around. And then you can just go over and grab them. So it's like R2 on the controller and you just, you just grab them. And then that'll start like a bit of dialogue of, oh, you've got them. And, and, and then they're like, then they're safe and it's it's all calm. And then you have to rest again for a couple of days and that will give them time to recover. And then you can go and progress this quest again, the final part. Okay, so when you return, you want to talk to all three people. So you want to talk to, to, to Trisha, I, I on and I know all of them. You want to talk to every person and each one will give you a reward. So one will give you meteor on so you can bring down the big meteors this is a, the, the huge sorcerer spell Aini will give you celestial pay on which is the big stamina regeneration spell and then i know will give you a, a thing called Af Afanite. so this is this is Afanite's tome so this is where your you give it to your pawn and it's the specialization where they they can't speak which is great because they never shut up so yeah that's the three rewards you get and that kind of that's kind of everything you'll have you'll have all three of the ultimate spells you'll have a nice robe eleven thousand gold and the, the specialization. And that's everything for these big mage quests. I hope this has helped try and break it down and keep it simple, give it a bit of like order and direction and, and have some, some steps for it. Because this is kind of like a complex thing as you travel all around the map and traveling isn't easy in this game. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, liking the video and, and leaving a comment helps me out a ton. If there's anything I've missed here, or if there's like a, a better way to do things or a better order to do things, let people know in the comments. But that, that's it from me. If you like these, simple and explained guides subscribing to the channel helps me out because we got we got a lot of guides i've done a lot for dragon's dogma already and there's more to come cover other rpgs and mmos as well but i'll stop rambling thank you all for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one